Hello everyone, this is Fernando, also known as Mission Handy. This is my wife. You guys met her before. Uh, beautiful, beautiful wife, Nicole. <coughs> and today we want to talk about fear. I mean, fear is a big, big, you know, a big topic, a big subject, or a big problem in a lot of lives, people's lives, that um, are afraid of things. And we're only going to discuss, I mean, there's a whole bunch of types of fear out there, but we're going to talk talk about two types of fear and uh one of them is to fear god and the other one is the fear the fear to die so um fearing god is definitely um uh, a good type of fear because uh when you fear god you're showing that you honor him and that you respect his his word and that you um what can i send on the way of fearing god yeah. um Yeah, respecting him. I don't think he like wants us to be afraid of who he is because he's a God of love, but I think he wants us to respect his laws and, and strive to be righteous because um, he's a holy God and he can't be around sin. And so that's why he sent his son to cleanse us. And um, so every day we have to strive to be more holy and more holy. So... Um, it's a fear of respect, I believe. So fear, anxiety, and phobia are uh, other types of fear. But uh, phobia is obviously a bad fear. And uh, anxiety is a bad fear. Those are all bad fears. And uh, even like, like I mentioned in the beginning, the fear of dying, it's it's a big fear. You mm -hmm. know, because a lot of us fear uh, of dying. And Nicole, why do you think people fear of dying? Well, I think they fear the unknown. I used to be afraid to die before I knew Jesus. And um, especially having children as a mother, your biggest fears are for your kids to die. And now, like, my biggest fear is my kids not knowing the Lord because um, to not be in the body is to be present with the Lord. And so uh, knowing Him really took the sting out of death away from me. I'm not afraid to die anymore. Like there's times where I look forward to being in heaven and having no more pain or sorrow or sadness. Um, I just imagine myself running into the arms of Jesus. But um, as a mom, you see your kids be distracted by other things, video games and, and things that you know, entertain them that the Lord doesn't. So they don't want that focus on the Lord. And so as a mom, it's a big fear of mine. Will my kids make it, you know? And so, you know, I mean, we are not to fear death as believers, but the rest of the world, you know, should fear it if they're, if they don't know him. Like I fear for my clients or my friends who don't know Jesus you know, I really have an evangelist spirit. I want them to know the truth and know who he is so that they can spend eternity in heaven. Because really, he's the only way to heaven. That's it. Why do people fear? Because a lot of times people are not right. I don't know. Okay with God. Or they have an open door to sin. Or they're, uh, they're doing something that's not pleasing God. They're not righteous like God is. You know, and we need to be right with God. And that gives us the boldness and the confidence to not fear anything. I, my wife is obviously really bold and confident that, you know, but she still has that fear because it's natural to be afraid. You know, some people fear for family members. Some people fear uh, of, of getting a disease. Some people get fear of getting sick. Uh, I suffer of a lot of anxiety. Um, a lot of times, and I, I still do. That's one of my biggest fears right now. I take medicine for it. And my wife has something she wants to share if anybody's struggling with anxiety and fear. Go well, it. it says many times anxiety or concern is a result of sin, and the cure is to deal with the sin. Psalms 32, 1 through 5. says that the person whose sin is forgiven is blessed and the heavy weight of guilt is taken away when sins are confessed. Is a broken relationship creating anxiety? Try to make peace. 2 Corinthians 13, 11 is fear of the unknown leading to anxiety. 
turn the situation over to the God who knows everything and is in control of it all. Psalms 68:20. Are overwhelming circumstances causing anxiety? Have faith in God. When the disciples became distressed in a storm, Jesus first rebu rebuked their lack of faith, then rebuked the wind and the waves. Matthew 8, 23 through 27. As long as we are with Jesus, there is nothing to fear. If you're not okay with Jesus, what I've got of that, if you're if you have an open door to sin somewhere and you're you know uh going through anxiety and fears fear of dying, you know, um, then you really need to uh, check yourself and, and you really do a deep search in your heart and find out what, what that is. You know, if you feel like, start praying to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will guide you and tell you, hey, this is what you got open in your life. Um, and expect, expect uh, deliverance from that. But it's important that you close any door that you have open in your life to be able to uh, beat that fear and, and defeat that fear because Fear is not from God. Obviously, it's, it's from the enemy. He, he wants to put fear in our life. It says, do not fear 365 times in the Bible. And that's exactly how many days are in a year. And I found that really trippy. That it says, do not fear, do not be afraid exactly 365 times. So we're going to look at some, uh, maybe some uh, scriptures that uh, kind of uh, help us with the fear issues so philippians 4 6 instruct us not to be anxious which anxiety is fear i believe that instructs instruct us not to be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition present your requests to god in other words talk to god tell him what your anxiety is tell him what your fear is or your phobia you know that's one step you can take in philippians obviously was a new a fear understood anxiety and knew that talking to God, God will comfort him. I'm not saying that if you if you have anxiety like I do, that oh no, just don't take your medicines. Just go to God, and um, He'll take care of it. No, God uses medicine and doctors to help us too. But we still have to work through that. And eventually, I believe it with faith. I believe in my heart that my anxiety will eventually leave. Yes. Even if I taking medicines and go to doctors to help me with that. Mm -hmm. I believe the spirit of fear, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I, I am afraid of dying, you know, um, and I, mm -hmm. you know, I don't <laughs> do that. It's obviously important because God knows that the devil, the enemy can get us through fear. You know, he can sneak in there with fear. Faith and fear are totally opposite. You know, uh, there's a saying that I, heard, I don't know if it's biblical or not, but I'm going to share it with you guys. It says, fear is for false evidence appearing real. That's it slides good. from the enemy. Mm -hmm. Do you want to read this? This is really good. Okay, the key to overcoming fear, then, is total and complete trust in God. Trusting God is a refusal to give in to fear. It is, a, it is a turning to God even in the darkest times and trusting Him to make things right. This trust comes from knowing God and knowing that He's good. As Job said when he was experiencing some of the most difficult trials recorded in the Bible. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys read the book of Job or not, but uh, he went through some serious trials. Yeah. And fear must have overtaken him. If you guys haven't read the book of Job, Job it's really short. Go ahead and find it in the Bible and read it. So, see, it's, it's constantly just saying, it really comes down to trust. Trust in God. Faith and trust. Trust in faith. And it's very important that you guys understand like that. like exercising a muscle. It's not easy to do. And I think it's good if we um, do discuss it in the comments. Maybe everybody can chime in on how to help us and we can help you. And just a discussion on what we can do to abolish fear. Because I really feel like fear empowers the enemy. It gives him a stronghold in our life. And it opens a door. And um, because fear is the opposite of faith and we cannot please God without faith. And so I really feel like um, maybe we can all battle this together and take on the enemy with building faith in each other and, and abolishing fear. So uh, if you guys want to know more about how to have more faith, we, we did create a video, How to Grow Your Faith. Uh, there'll be a little note here or over here. 
and an end screen at the end of the video or I'll put a link on the description of the video where uh, it's just a six minute video you guys can watch and um, it'll, it'll strain your faith and shows you how to grow your faith. So anyways, like, like we said, if you guys have something you guys want to share about uh, your fears, uh, put it down in the comments. All right, you guys? Yeah, it's a fun discussion. So. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. God bless. And uh, don't forget to share this video and uh, subscribe and like. Thanks.